Well, welcome to our classic car and here, the Ford 100E in its many different guises. To begin with, VSL 675, this is a Ford Prefect, Ford 100E Prefect of March 1958. This is a very similar car alongside too, we get a better view of that in a later photograph. Okay, another Ford Prefect, 536 UVW. This one is different though because this is actually the 107E. This had the overhead valve engine from four-speed gearbox, and these were built from 1959 to 1961 only. This car is from March 61, and that is followed by the first of several Ford Thames 300E vans that will feature in this particular video. It's very similar to the Estate, but the van had the side hinge doors that you see there at the back. The Estate, the uh, Squire and the Escort were split tailgate. And here, a Ford 100E Anglia PWM 432. This one dates to April 1959. The, uh, the 100E first came out in 1953 and was built until 1959, so this is quite a late car. Now, this is a home modified version, it's uh, along the lines of a ute or pickup, Ford 100E pickup. Quite an interesting little car, looks really, really nice. Original paint by the look of it, too. Down to the NEC Classic Car Show, and several 100Es have been seen down there over the years. XAS 852, this one dates to 1958. Again, it's a prefect, you can tell the prefect because it's got four doors. This was a posh, if you like, version of the 100E. Another example here, and first of several old black and white photographs that will feature in this particular video. RLX 933 is seen here in South Shields with Frankie's chips and crisps in the background. Fantastic. To the NEC again, we've got a gaggle of 100Es here, and in the foreground, a Thames 300E version, very much a barn find spec, complete with period roof rack. Nice survivor that is. Now, first of three photos of a prefect we spotted in Portugal a few years ago. This was close to a res restoration workshop, so I'm not sure if this car was due to be restored or maybe used as a parts donor, but I thought being left hand drive it would be an interesting car to include in this particular selection. There's a rear three quarter view of the same car. Clearly, been in hot temperature, most of the paint has sort of fallen off. Um, like I say, left-hand drive, probably quite a rare sight in Portugal, even back then, I can't imagine it was very common. There's a close-up of the badge on the back, L406. What does that mean? You can see that there used to be a script badge just on the corner of the bootlid panel there at the top. But what does L406 mean? Back to the commercials for a minute, and another example of the Thames 300E. Really nice little van there. These were actually introduced in July. 1954, I'm not quite sure what year this one is, but mid 50s. XBF 446, that's a popular from March of 62. The popular came along quite late in 100D production, was only built from 59 through to 1962. This was at the Goodwood Revival quite a few years ago, FAS 689, that's one of the 100E Escort Estates done up in the livery of AA Road Service. The Escort was the more basic version and the Squire was a little bit more plush. Another classic black and white photo here of an Anglia. This is the facelifted Anglia with the uh, later mesh grille. Uh, prior to that they had a three bar horizontal bar grille. This change took place in about 1957 I think. Now to the Haynes Motor Museum, we've got a couple of classic Fords there, there's a console on the left and in the foreground a 100E Anglia and that's got the earlier style three bar grille that I was talking about a moment ago. This is a rare old bird, this is a convertible version of the 100E registration XTC278. Apparently this was converted by Abbots of Farnham and only three of these were built, I assume this is the sole survivor. Abbots, of course, did the estate versions of the console. Now to Malvern, classic car show in the mid-2000s. Got a pair of 100Es here, we've got a popular in the foreground, and a four-door prefect alongside it, uh, both basking in the sun there. 701 FKT, that's a Kent-registered car, uh, June 59, that particular car hit the road. It's a bit of a work in progress, there's no windscreen in it, you can see the headlining's being replaced at the time. But yeah, quite a rare survivor, and that's a 107E with the overhead valve engine, as is this PSJ906. This one's been untaxed for a year or so, and this first hit the road in May of 1961. There's a great little car in, 930HYA, very much a rat rod looking 100E. do like those deep dish steel wheels.
somewhat shinier is this immaculate little Anglia FSL 118. Beautiful little car there, very standard looking. It's got the optional little uh, wheel trims, I can just see under the hubcaps there. Otherwise, it looks totally original. Back to the black and white era again, and there's a lady here seen stepping in or out of their Ford 100 Prefect. You can see the Prefect had a distinctive grille with those vertical slats. Um, really nice little car just to pot around on on the 1950s day. And a super shiny Anglia here, BOA 855A. That's a 1958 car, example of the Anglia. Um, the Anglia was a more basic version, and the Prefect was a slightly plusher one sold alongside each other. And the Anglia was replaced by the popular in 59. Now, 976 GMT, um, this car doesn't show on DVLA anymore, so is it still around? Has it been re-registered? Maybe that registration's on retention somewhere. Um, who knows? Another cracking black and white photo here of a black Ford Anglia. Little extra lamp on the front there, but otherwise very standard looking. I'm assuming that's a winter scene. Did you mind that gentleman's coat? Nice little popular here. This one, VFO 1. Five, eight. I think those are Prefect headlamps around, chrome headlamps around, it's got little peaks over the headlights as well, uh, white wall tyres as well, all the mods. This is Astor Park in the sort of mid to late 2000s, MVS 556, we've got two photos of this particular car, it dates to May of 1961, it has an 1172cc side valve engine of course. There's a rear view of the same car at a different event slightly more recently, um, like I said that's a popular and it's got a Continental touring kit on the back, i.e. the spare wheel is hung off the back panel and the uh, bumpers moved out to accommodate it. It's probably the only one of those I've ever seen like that. Now two photos of a Ford Escort Squire even. Uh, this was the upmarket version of the Escort if you like, still an estate car but slightly plusher than the base Escort. The earlier Squires had sort of small wood strips down the side, we'll see a photo of one of those a bit later in this collection. There's a front view of it. Really practical handy car, but still only a two door. Carrying on with these little side valve Fords, we've got LFF 972, another example of the popular. Like I say, these replaced the 100 e Anglia and the old upright 103E in 1959, and it was very much the cheapest car in Ford's range at the time. Another great old period photo here. I think this is on the Wirral. Got a BMC Farina on the left and a Singer Gazelle on the right, and in the middle, a Ford 100 e Prefect 382 JFM. Is it still around somewhere, I wonder? Still around, definitely, is this popular RAS 779. Slightly modified, looks really good on those wide steel wheels. A couple of no tech lamps on the front there, the blue spots. Uh, really, really nice. Sun visor, too. Also, with plenty of period accessories, is 4282. TW, really really nice little car there, got the headlamp peaks, extra lamps, many many badges, slightly wider wheels, sun visor, wing mirrors and a radio aerial. Now this Thames 300E van I went to go and see many years ago, this was probably 15 years ago, it was in the garage, it had been parked for a very long time. I don't know what happened to it. Did you buy this? Do you know where this little van is now? Surely it's still out there somewhere, there's a rear view of the same one. Like I say the vans had those side hinged rear doors and the 100E Escort had the uh, split tailgate arrangement, but otherwise the body shell was very, very similar. There was a Mustang in the garage next to it as well. Right, back to the NEC, 467 UYE, that's an April 59 car. This is currently shown here as Sorn, so it's not quite on the road at the moment. Uh, another example of the Angli, of course. AA and RAC badges on the front of that one. Another period shot now, Austin A30 and a 100E Ford Prefect. Clearly stopping for a cup of tea and a sandwich at the side of a road somewhere, but we do not know where. Super duper shiny is this uh, Anglia here. There's a post facelift Anglia. So let's see, the facelift was introduced in October of 57. You've got a larger rear window, new headlamp surrounds, and that mesh grille that you can see there. Three bar grille on this cracking Thames 300E WBJ334. This was seen at the Tatton Park Classic Car Show quite a few years ago. This one dates to January of 1956. Like I said, the 300E was introduced in July of 54. A two door car here, somewhat work in progress. A really nice shade of blue. I think that'll look fantastic if it's back in that colour scheme now. This was probably two or three years ago at the NEC. Really, really got a lot of potential that one. Another great old photograph now, PXO141, 
an old black and white shot. That's a London registered car, sort of January or February of 1955. The gentleman there, is he a bus driver perhaps? I'm not quite sure, but he seems to have his winter uniform on. Back to the NEC XUR290. This car dates to September of 1956. Four doors, so it's a prefect. Carrying on with these Ford 100Es, we've got LSV257, a work in progress Anglia there. Looks like quite a sound car, bit of work going on, still some to do, but really, really nice. There's a 300E alongside it, and behind it, a Model C or CX Tora. There's a rare old beast from the 1930s. To Western Park now, this was quite a few years ago, YRW98. Happily, this one is still taxed on the road and still retains its original registration. It dates to October 1959. It's got a 1700cc engine according to DVLA now. With a period shot, I think this was in South Africa somewhere. We've got a sit up and beg prefect in the background. Um, but centre of the shot is a four door 100E. Um, could even be taking part in some sort of motor club event looking by that number on the front bumper. Back to Astor Park, 346 MPB. Where's this car now? Sadly, the uh, number plate pirates have had to go at this one, and that registration is on a 2020 BMW of all things. But where's the car? It must still be around somewhere, presumably, with a non original reg, a bit like this one. 238UXJ, two door Anglia there. Great to see that out and about. It's got a sun visor, a couple of wing mirrors, um, a nice, fairly standard looking car, and a little fog light on the back. The earlier style rear lamps, if I remember correctly. Now, uh, this was at Sidewell, and it's a Thames 300E hot rod. Uh, more information required. If you can uh, shed light on any of the cars featured here, please uh, pop a note into the comments. That would be great. We're going to carry on with these classic Fords. This one pops up at local car shows quite regularly. Four door 100E Prefect uh, WKT 175. That's a Kent registration. This car dates to March of 1956. Lovely little car that is. Isn't that some very smart green prefect? Various mods on this one as well. A couple of nice lamps there, extra badges, sun visor. Do plenty of sun visors, but do we have enough sun to justify one? Where's this car now? I haven't seen it at the shows for a little while, but it used to be quite a regular turnout. Now, an Anglia LUH 911. No prizes for guessing who might want that registration number on their car. Um, there's a prefect alongside it as well, an old E493A. This I saw at Malvern quite a few years ago, I think it was probably about 2010. Another example of the Thames 300E van, really neat little vehicle that is. Back to Tatton Park, and again quite a few years ago, probably 2008, 2010, somewhere like that. Another example of the Prefect, the chrome headlamps around to the giveaway, as are the four doors of course. Thanks to Vince for this photo, he took this at a gathering up in the northeast within the last couple of months or so, really, really nice. The 100E was Ford's first small unitary body car prior to that, they'd always had a separate chassis. And they also had hydraulic brakes, which is quite advanced. TYJ108, this is currently on Sawn, so laid up somewhere in March 1960 is the date for that one. Um, quite a bit more advanced looking than the uh, sit up and beg Ford that uh, it kind of replaced, but it still had vacuum wipers. Now here is a Squire, this is an early Squire with the pieces of wood down the side that I mentioned before, the later Squires didn't have that. The rear three quarter view now of UHY309, this was at the Western Park Classic Car Show years and years ago. This car dates to June of 1955, it's somewhat modified, it's got a 3 litre V6 engine under its bonnet apparently, nice wide wheels tucked away there. Somewhat more original is this 107E Prefect. You can see the little extra dog leg, the little chrome dog leg on the front wing. Now that's a, a giveaway that this is the overhead valve 107E YRC 768 from 1960. Into the little Thames van here, XTR 424. I'll look this one up. It's an April 59, but it's on Sawn. Sawn is a statutory off-road notification if you're not in this country, and basically it means the car's laid up and not in use at the moment. PRP. 247, that's a Northamptonshire registered uh, prefect, it's 100E. Various extra mods on that one, including Buick style portholes on the front wings, got the sun visor, extra lampage, mirrors, and so on. Nice old photo here from the 1950s of a bone bog, bog standard uh, 300E van, a couple of young girls next to it. Wonder where that van ended up now. Quite often people cut windows in the back to make them into estate cars. Head on view now of a couple of 100Es, JFO261, that's a prefect uh, from February of 1959. 
the first prefect came along and was actually built in 17th of December 1953. VZ8013, this is from Tyrone in Northern Ireland, June 1960. Very smart little car as well, Ford Popular. Like I said, this was very much the base model in Ford's range at the time. And to a barn somewhere up in Scotland, or in the borders, I think it probably was. It's a Ford 100E Escort. We've seen examples of the Squire, and this is a slightly more basic 100E Escort. There's a little Hillman Minx behind it. VRY406, very smart little car here. It's a Prefect, four-door, bright red wheels even. And this one dates to June 1959. This was a local classic car show. Where is it now? Is it still around? To a museum in Wales now, we've got a head-on view of 893MUY, outside a uh, recreation of an oldie worldy garage, plenty of petrol pumps, old signs there, RAC, BMC, BP, Motor Spirit, fantastic now, a much modified car here, XYL 624, if you look at that registration you'll see some photographs of this one, it's got a Cosworth turbo engine under its bonnet, wider arches, big wheels, looks like it's been very nicely done indeed. And rounding out this collection of Ford 100Es, we've got TCA 370. This was seen in the mid-2000s, mouldering away in a Welsh scrapyard somewhere. The registration doesn't show up anymore, so did this car survive? Is it tucked away in a barn somewhere, or did it get scrapped when the yard was cleared? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, that rounds out this collection of 70 photographs of the Ford 100E and variations of. I hope that was of interest to uh, Ford fans out there and people, who, anyone who remembers these cars were a bit more common than they are now. And uh, please have a look around the rest of the channel before you disappear. And there'll be more videos along very, very soon. So bye for now.